All right, let's see how this looks and sounds. Windows rolled down, rev it up. Let's see if that sounds good. Or let's hear if that sounds good. All right. Still a good amount of daylight right now. So, let's see how it looks. I got a little bridge here. Alright, today's video, a review of this rear view mirror vehicle traveling data recorder, a dash cam. Automatic record all the road conditions, effective record accidents, and prevent malicious blackmail. Replay the truth and protect personal interests. There you go. Let's try this out right now. Here's what it looks like. Micro SD card slot. And then these little like rubber straps, I guess to uh, clip it to your rear view mirror. All right, I have this all set up. There's the little dash cam screen right there off to the right. Rear view mirror has a slight blue tint to it. Of course, you have to adjust your rear view mirror so you could see behind you. And when you do that, the camera might be pointed up, but you could actually adjust the camera to get it the way you need it so they thought of that which is cool all I have to do is review the footage but I like this concept I've been using this dash cam a lot just because of the ease of use it slips right off so I like that so every time I get out of my car I take my camera off because I don't want anyone smashing my window stealing my camera now I don't have to worry about that with this rear view mirror dash cam because it looks like a looks like a rear view mirror it's about an inch or two wider not much in fact about yeah maybe three inches wider than the stock camera I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from the outside but I definitely don't need this one anymore I might buy a few more of these now put them in all the cars I own but yeah I like this concept a lot more uh, from what I could see it's not user friendly in terms of like if you need a lock footage like if you get into an accident you have to get into the menu and you gotta lock the footage you know on your own so yeah that's kinda that's kinda cumbersome this one if you need a lock footage you just press that red lock button and that'll lock the current that'll lock the current file so kind of cumbersome if you do need a lock a file but other than that it's not bad it's pretty user friendly all right gotta go in the store here real quick pet store and then I'll go ahead and film some footage right here's how it looks from the outside I mean unless you're really inspecting it you can't really tell it's a dash cam and then I normally put up my sunshade anyway so that'll completely cover the camera as always parking OCD I always use a sunshade so when I put on the sunshade it'll protect the camera from excessive heat so here's what it looks like with the sunshade on now you can't even tell that I have a dash cam see you can't really leave a windshield mounted dash cam there so that's why I always pull this off whenever I park my car it's not sunny right now that's why when I went to the store I didn't put the sunshade on demo purposes though alright this turns on as soon as you start the car and it has automatic looping nice nice video of the earth and it's recording right now. I have it on five minute loop right now. So let's see. 
let's see how this looks all right let's see how this looks and sounds windows rolled down rev it up let's see if that sounds good or let's hear if that sounds good all right still a good amount of daylight right now so let's see how it looks I got a little bridge here there you go we got a nice stoplight here so let's see if we could see the the street name See if you can see the street name right now. Cars driving by. Turning left here, so there's gonna be a little tunnel. So or a little bridge. Nice low rider there. Purple low rider. So that's a that's a good footage right now. Cars driving by, street sign. See how legible everything looks. Looks kind of choppy looking at it through the um, little screen here. The footage looks a little choppy. see uh, I think we're gonna be right in the Sun right now I might do a I might do a little u-turn here so we don't have to have the Sun in our eye so we can get some footage rev it up under the bridge and then after the bridge rev I'll roll down or roll up the windows again roll down right now since the camera is a uh, here we go all right give it a rev hopefully that's not good rolled up sun not in our eye right now footage of this dash cam here see how it looks at night Aww, nice little picture of the earth I like that plays a little tune too that's pretty cool all right starting right now Let's see how it looks too that's pretty cool all right starting right now Let's see how it looks all right no light, light on. Let's go ahead and turn on the fog lights. Oh, there you go. A little extra lighting with the fog lights. Let's see how this looks. Super clear. It is what it is. Okay, looking, looking at it through through the uh, little screen here. It looks, it looks like every other cheap dash cam that I've used. Does the job? Should anyway haven't reviewed the footage yet so once I have it on my laptop we'll see what it all looks like 
Alright, got my night footage. And one of the features that this has, that every dash cam should have, is the ability to view footage right off the dash cam. So if you do get into an accident, the footage is playable right away as evidence right there. So all I have to do is review this footage now, see how it looks. Alright, you saw the video footage. The picture is what I expected out of a cheap dash cam. So I'll continue using this. Ran into one problem. I put the memory card in my computer and I got a corrupt file message. But I was able to view the files and edit this video through Windows Movie Maker. I always use Windows Movie Maker, so I had to convert the file anyway. But yeah, I just ran into that one problem where I couldn't view the file directly off the folder here. So, could be the memory card. It could do this all the time, I don't know, but at least I'm still able to view the file if I convert it through Windows Movie Maker. Or I could view the file directly on the dash cam. And this is where I bought the dash cam right here. I'll leave a link. It was right there. Eleven dollars and twenty five cents. Fourteen ninety four Canadian. But yeah, that's it. And it takes about two, three weeks to get to you since it's from China. So there you go. So um, this is the one I'm gonna use. I like the interface. The picture quality is what I expected. Sound quality is horrible, so yeah, if you uh, have aspirations to doing driving vlogs with a dash cam, this isn't going to work. Video quality isn't good enough to be doing a, a dash cam like video vlog or using this as an action camera. That's not going to work.